Hi guys and welcome back and today we're going to talk about my May TBR. So you may be wondering where my April wrap up is and for that matter my March wrap up and I promise they are coming. They will be up later this week. I just haven't gotten a chance to film them or refilm them as is the case with my March TBR. Um, the end of April, beginning of May has been really busy for me, but I do promise that they are coming. Um, but today I'm going to quick talk about my May TBR and what I'm planning on reading in the month of May. So we'll start with my current read, which is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, I started reading this book at the end of April, but only got a little ways into it. I am currently 180-ish pages into this book. Um, so I'm hoping to get this finished up this month. I am also listening to this on audio as well. This st story follows two sisters, both of whom are princesses, and the oldest daughter has been betrothed to the God King um, almost her whole life as part of a treaty between these two neighboring kingdoms. And so it comes time for her to be sent to the God King uh, in order to prevent any sort of war from breaking out. But the king decides that he can't bear to lose his oldest daughter, and so he sends his youngest daughter in her place. Uh, the big problem with this is that the youngest daughter has not been trained in politics. She kind of has been a little bit forgotten. Nobody really took a ton of time to train her or teach her much, and she was pretty defiant, and they kind of just let her be her whole life. But now she has to be in this court and among these politics and in a place that she doesn't understand and she's not even really sure why she's there. And then we also follow her sister uh, Vivenna as she tries to go and rescue Siri because she feels like she is bearing this burden unfairly. This was her job and her responsibility and she's not getting to do it. And so it's about these two sisters and it's also about a world in which we have uh, gods who are people who have died who are returned and we have a god who is questioning his divinity which is hilarious um, we also have a magic system that is based on color and on breath and that one every person has one breath but they can give it freely to other people and so people can gather breaths and the more breaths you have the more powerful you are um, so it's a really interesting political system, a really interesting magic system, and I love the characters so far, and I'm really enjoying this book, so I'm excited to dive more into this world. Next up we have my second Sanderson book of the month, which is Skyward. This is Brandon Sanderson's YA sci-fi. It is the start to a new series, uh, and this follows our main character, Spensa. She lives in this futuristic world where humans have fled Earth and are now on a different planet, and there is an alien species that is attacking them, and they constantly have to defend themselves from these aliens, and Spensa wants nothing more than to be a pilot however she is kind of the ridicule and outcast of her community because her father was a great pilot but then he was branded as a coward uh, in their most trying time and so because of that Spensa too has been branded as the daughter of a coward and pretty much everyone hates her and she has a really hard rough life but she ends up getting into pilot school and she just fights tooth and nail to defend herself and her title and her father and all of this and so it's just following Spensa through this whole ordeal um, and I think there's more to she finds like an ancient ship and there's something going on with that um, but I did start this book as well. We haven't really dived into that. I'm not sure exactly where that plot line goes and that's about all I know about the book, um, but I'm really excited. I am buddy reading this with Murphy and Appears Patreon group as well as buddy reading it um, with a friend who reached out on Goodreads. So it's really exciting to discuss with a couple different groups of people. Um, and if you guys want to buddy read anything, either let me know down below, reach out on Goodreads, Twitter, Instagram, whatnot. But I am excited to read my first YA by Brandon Sanderson and my first sci-fi by Brandon Sanderson. 
Next up, I'm reading An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard. I'm buddy reading this with Christy over at Turning the Page this month. Um, this is a adult fantasy standalone novel that follows these groups or families of magicians and every so many years they have a house war to see who is going to control the magical world um, for the next so many years and there is a new player in the game this year and nobody knows who she is, where she's from, and she's here to get revenge, destroy everything, make chaos, something of that sort. Uh, I'm really excited to read this. I've heard great things about this book. The next book I am going to be reading I don't have yet because it has not technically released yet, but it is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I have this book pre-ordered, so it should be in the mail any day now, and I am so so excited to read this book. I love the Illuminae series by them, even though I haven't finished it yet. Um, they, I think, are great co-authors. I think they write awesome sci-fi. This is another YA sci-fi, and it is about a squad that is kind of the, it, I think the tagline is, these aren't the heroes you're looking for, they're just the ones we could find, which I think is hilarious and awesome. It's about a misfit crew who ends up having to save the galaxy. Tyler, their squad leader, was super excited to put together the squad of his dreams and kind of ended up with the last picks and the other people that nobody wanted and has to make this crew work and I'm sure it will be hilarious and exciting and fast-paced and I can't wait to read more by the two of them. I've heard great things about this book so I can't wait to read it. For my classic this month, I am just going to work on reading some of the stories from Grimm's Fairy Tales. One of my goals this year is to read and annotate this whole thing, and I have not been doing very well so far. I only have a few read, so therefore I am going to just work on reading some stories out of here and see how I like them. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going like in order in the book or if I should skip around, pick out some that sound good. I'm not quite sure yet, but we will see how this one goes. If I do manage to make it through all of those books and have a little bit of time left to read, which not sure how well that will go, I still have not finished Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. I have no idea what's holding me back from reading this book. I literally just keep prioritizing other books over it. It's not that it's not interesting or that I don't want to read it. I love that we have finally been introduced to Nikolai and I love where the story's going. Now that I'm talking about it, I really want to read it. But I've just been picking up other things instead and I don't know why. So maybe I can at least get a little further in this book this month, if not finish it. So I really do need to finish up this series. So that is it. Those are the books that I am planning to read in May. Let me know if you're reading any of those books down below or what you guys are reading in May because I love to hear what everyone is reading. Um, if you've read any of the books that I've talked about, let me know your thoughts without spoilers, of course. Uh, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.